Hi, I'm Elizabeth Jenkins, and welcome to Turner Classic Movies. Tonight, we have a special treat for you, a film that unites for the first and only time two of the greatest dancers to have ever graced the screen, Fred Astaire and Eleanor Powell. It's Broadway Melody of 1940, also starring George Murphy. The film tells a story of a down-on-their-luck dance team played by Murphy and Astaire, who are one night discovered by a Broadway producer, played by none other than the Wizard of Oz himself, Frank Morgan. Through a mix-up, Morgan hires Murphy over Astaire to star opposite Broadway's leading lady du jour, played by Eleanor Powell. Now, what this film really is, is an example of MGM's endless talent pool and a dream factory working at its finest. From the stars, to the sets, to the costumes, to Cole Porter's songs, and to a director whose other credits include such classics as Boys Town and Girl Crazy, MGM proved time and again that it had the good stuff. Now, there's a lot of fantastic musical numbers in this film, but by far the most famous, and rightfully so, would be the mind-blowing two-part finale to Porter's Begin the Beginning, danced by Astaire and Powell. It's, to put it straight, heaven on earth for any musical lover. In fact, the number was featured in the 1974 film commemorating MGM's musical heyday, That's Entertainment. The great Frank Sinatra introduced the clip saying, you know, folks, you can wait around and hope, but I'll tell you, you'll never see the likes of this again. And we never did. Here's Broadway Melody of 1940.